Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, this webinar on Microsoft 365 Technology for Small Business. My name is Dwayne Natwick. I am the Cloud Training Architect Lead here at Opsgility. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer as well as a Microsoft MVP and hold multiple certifications. And uh, you can feel free to reach out and follow me on social media. Uh, we do a lot of these different webinars and uh, if you follow me, you'll be able to keep up to date and uh, and follow along and on any new information that, that I'm sharing personally as well as I'm sharing from Opsgility. Hi everyone, I'm Haley Hanready and I'm a Strategic Account Executive here with Opsgility. And we're here to provide your team assistance to shift your IT spend uh, from overhead to innovation and happy to help you answer any questions along the way. So to tell you a little bit about Opsgility, we are an organization and we partner with organizations across the globe and we help them with their digital transformation journey. The way that we do that is that we are a CSP and we also offer consulting services. So not only can we provide the direction that you need, but our team can also help manage that as well. Additionally, we have virtual events and Virtual Conference Manager is an application built on Microsoft Teams. And this platform allows you to safely, conveniently and internally or internationally host events. And lastly, we empower organizations through training and enablement. So we can teach you to leverage the Microsoft Cloud tools, and we also are able to help assist you building um, enterprise learning plans. We offer dedicated instructor-led training that's vir available virtually and in person. And then we have just open enrollment classes that are available to help you meet your specific goals. All right, thank you, Haley. Uh, so what are we going to be talking about today? Uh, so we are going to uh, go through uh, some things around Microsoft 365 and we're going to talk about I'll be talking about what it is, uh, what some of the differentiating features and functionality are around uh, Microsoft 365 and then what's in it for you. You know, uh, it's not worthy of your time unless we can provide some value to you. So we're going to talk about some some benefits that it's going to bring to your organization as well. So let's talk about first what is Microsoft 365 and how how is that going? You know, what does it provide to your organization? So for those of you that aren't familiar with Microsoft and the Microsoft Cloud ecosystem, there are really kind of three tiers of services that Microsoft provides within the cloud. There's Microsoft Azure, which provides uh, infrastructure and platform as a service type services, and then there's two software as a service based products within um, within Microsoft that is that are ready to go applications for you and that's Dynamics 365 which also kind of ties into Power Platform and then there is also Microsoft 365 which we're talking about today. So as I said Microsoft 365 is a software as a solution service or platform uh, that provides an integrated suite of applications and services. And this includes with the Microsoft 365 suite, Windows 10 or soon to become Windows 11. Uh, that's uh, only about a week away from being uh, being released. Uh, Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, uh, OneDrive, Teams, and many more features that we're going to talk about here shortly. Uh, what a software as a solution or SaaS, uh, SaaS service uh, provides is cloud-based applications and services that are always up to date. They provide cloud-based collaboration and integration between email, chat, meeting, shared files, cloud, and one of the benefits and big benefits that uh, you know is kind of a different is a differentiator of Microsoft 365 from other cloud-based SaaS productivity services is you can work within these applications both from a cloud-based browser or you can install those locally on your Windows Windows or Mac devices. Uh, the the Microsoft 365 suite is built with strong data privacy uh, capabilities and it is the most compliant collaboration suite that is available and one of the great things around a SaaS based solution is you can pay per user per month without any long term commitments. So it, as your user requirements 
uh, may uh, increase or decrease within your organization, you can very easily adjust your licensing accordingly. So the first thing I wanted, to, I wanted to highlight a few of those services that we talked about on the previous slide. And the first is Windows 10. With Microsoft 365, and when we're talking about small business, we're usually talking about Microsoft 365 Premium version, which provides you with Windows 10 Pro, as well as the newly released Windows Virtual Desktop capabilities to utilize a virtual desktop uh, version of Windows rather than installing Windows on your device. So if you have if you're utilizing something like you know you all may only have Chromebooks or you may only have Mac devices uh, within your organization today, you can use Windows Virtual Desktop and run a Windows operating system in a browser uh, with on on those devices and have the same Windows experience, Windows 10 experience that everybody else in your organization has that might have a laptop that's window that's already installed with Windows 10 Pro. Uh, the great thing here is it's got security built in. It's got simplified updates. Uh, updates are done on a regular basis, two updates uh, per year from a feature perspective, and then one major update during the year. So Windows 10 uh, has been known as desktop as a service uh, over the last few years because of the fact that uh, that rather than every year coming out with a new Windows operating system, they have been maintaining Windows 10 now for a good uh, good five or six years or so, uh, I believe, uh, you know, around uh, utilizing when you know for Windows 10, and but still maintaining and and providing updates, enhanced productivity, and integration with everything that is part of Microsoft 365. One of those pieces uh, as well, those key pieces to your productivity suite is Exchange Online. SaaS-based email solution. Again, rather than having an Exchange server, you can move migrate to Exchange Online and always be up to date, have built-in anti-spam, anti-malware, data loss prevention capabilities, and again, automatic updates to keep uh, up to date on your security requirements as well as the latest version of Exchange. And again, web client as well as you can utilize the familiar Outlook app on your desktop for uh, for your email capabilities. SharePoint Online, again, move away from the ability to migrate yourself away from maintaining servers in your environment, maintaining SharePoint servers. We can move SharePoint to an online uh, web-based uh, cloud native application where now you can have all of your content and your team sites out in uh, out in the cloud, uh, personal file storage with OneDrive for Business all built in, and as well as data loss prevention uh, protection or data loss prevention and information protection built into those into the services. And we'll talk a little bit more about some of those security services here in a moment. Teams. What do we have here with Teams? You know, everybody is doing video conferencing. Teams brings all of that Microsoft 365 and the integration with Exchange Online and SharePoint Online and OneDrive and your personal files and ability then also to chat with your coworkers, collaborate on those files, make calls, work, uh, build and work with your favorite apps and collaborate not with not only with people inside your organization, but also building federated uh, federated capabilities to part to speak and work with partner organizations as well. Dwayne, we have a question here. Um, if you have a moment, sure. yes. um, it says my wife's company uses Google Cloud Platform. How does Teams compare to Google Meet? So that's a great question. Um, so Google Meet is Google's suite of uh, you know, Google uh, Google Cloud Platform and Google Suite is the equivalent or the somewhat equivalent to Microsoft 365 in Google's world. Google Meet is the closest uh, piece within Google to Teams. Uh, the one thing that Google Meet does not have as strong of a um, of an integration with those Google Suite services to provide that level of uh, of collaboration that Teams provide you with. It doesn't have 
the app integration where you can utilize things like like planner boards and uh, and run different like project teams and project channels out of that. It is strictly a uh, it is strictly a video conferencing and chat based service. It's not as as uh, as closely knit to the rest of the Google suite as a collaboration service like Teams is. Teams has been built to provide you with with all this integration with other applications where you can use like GitHub developer tools and a lot of even third party like third party applications uh, within the Teams environment for users to share and again collaborate on files and capabilities. So all of that can then integrate and Teams can be your centralized hub for for again different channels that are used for different projects or different departments within your organization for them to for them to continue to collaborate and it's all integrated into the Microsoft 365 suite of productivity services. Awesome, thanks. No problem. Uh, Microsoft 360. So let's talk about some of the differentiators. And when we talk about some of these differentiators, you know, when we think about um, Microsoft 365, um, and one of the key things that um, that I like to point out around Microsoft 365 is the uh, is the security around uh, around uh, what Microsoft addresses. And Microsoft addresses uh, you know a need for uh, extended data, uh, you know, extend extended uh, defense and response services within your environment. And they do that with four pillars here. And one of those, it's around your identity and access management. It's around your threat protection capabilities, it's information protection, it's, and it's security management. All of these things are integrated very tightly within Microsoft 365 premium licensing, uh, as well as uh, if you have over 300 users or you have a need for enterprise level features, there are some enterprise level features that you can get with the enterprise licensing. But, but at its base, even as a small business, Microsoft 365 premium provides enterprise level security features built into your licensing at no additional cost. So you get thing you get pieces like, you know, as you know, as we move into the cloud, our, you know, you may have heard the term identity is a new perimeter. We're no longer responsible and we're no longer uh, uh, within the Microsoft within the cloud environment uh, responsible for or needing to protect the physical infrastructure, but protecting our identities is really our key and the ability to uh, to have the uh, have uh, conditional access policies as well as multi-factor authentication within our organization to protect our user identities. Uh, if we go over to information protection at the bottom here, uh, in tune capabilities to manage our devices and make sure that uh, that we are not sharing information that might be detrimental to our organization around uh, around personal information or or records within our organization that might you know, financial records that might cause a problem if, if they're overshared the threat protection piece you know we have uh, you know there are constant attacks taking place within our IT infrastructure on a global level and Microsoft builds all of their threat intelligence into their threat protection capabilities to uh, to protect against things like uh, like uh, phishing attacks uh, and uh, and advanced threats such as ransomware attacks and things like that within our organization. And then the way that we can now uh, we can manage our organization through uh, through the security center capabilities and the defender uh, the defender suite of products and then also monitor that within our organization uh, with Microsoft 365 Security Center. All of these pillars and all these pieces come part of the Microsoft 365 premium suite of licensing uh, within your with your organization's uh, investment. Another thing that Microsoft 365 provides as we're talking about the identity, if you're currently in an environment that has an active directory uh, and on-premises identities within your environment, you can tie those into the Azure, the, the Microsoft 365 environment as well, utilizing Azure Active Directory Connect. Azure Active Directory is the, uh, is the cloud-based identity service within Microsoft, and this allows a full, a full uh, management capability in all of your identities. If you have on-premises still and you're not ready to migrate 
uh, migrate all of that to uh, Microsoft 365. You can uh, build a hybrid identity infrastructure. And if you have certain cloud applications and different uh, different uh, apps such as maybe you're using Salesforce or Dropbox, or maybe uh, maybe some of your users, uh, some of your people in your organization do use Google Suite, you can uh, federate those identities and utilize those identities and and authenticate to those uh, those applications utilizing Azure Active Directory. So very power, Azure Active Directory is very powerful and very, uh, very flexible for your organization to be able to move between and utilize uh, many different applications, not just Microsoft 365 and other Microsoft applications as well. And back to back to a little bit more around security and enterprise security. You get this enterprise level security for uh, for your organization with uh, with your licensing for um, uh, Microsoft 365 Premium. Uh, with some additional licensing, additional licensing, you can get even stronger license licenses such as Azure Active Directory uh, uh, information pr uh, identity protection and. Uh, Privileged identity management around Azure Active Directory with the enterprise with the enterprise mobility and security suite as well. Uh, just takes it to another step uh, for a minimum for a minimal uh, additional licensing fee if if necessary. But like I said, you get a lot of uh, of enterprise grade um, features with your Microsoft 365 Premium license. Dwayne, um, can I interrupt you? We have another question here. Sure. Sure. Um, it says. Is security the only thing that differentiates Microsoft 365? I'm sure other services have security requirements and capabilities too. That's a great question. And uh, so I focus on security. I like, uh, you know, because many people are uh, feel, you know, and want to know what there is available to you for security. And uh, and like I said, one of the key things is the enterprise level capabilities around protecting your data and uh, and uh, and um, and protecting your users and, and your devices is very key to your organization. Um, there are uh, other third party tools and third party capabilities that you can bring those security capabilities into. Um, but again, those are extra charges. And one of the things to point out is this all comes bundled with Microsoft 365 Premium. Um, but uh, when we talk about other uh, other differentiators and other keys, you know, I've hit on a few of them already. Uh, Microsoft, when you utilize Microsoft 365, you always have the, the latest features and capabilities around the entire Office suite as well as Windows 10. Uh, you all you have the ability to update and have the latest software. So you don't have to, you know, you don't have to go out and purchase another a new version of software. It's always up to date for you when you invest in Microsoft 365. So there is not a renewal cycle that you have to go through. You pay the same price, uh, you know, month over month for, you know, per user licensing, and you have the latest and greatest version of those softwares. Um, another differentiator around those, uh, that software is, is it's not uh, it's not a cloud only suite of products. It's it's uh, func features and functionality and your and its management is all cloud based, but you can also install uh, Office 365 Pro Plus on your devices and utilize those locally as well. So it's not just uh, it's not just for uh, for your own uh, your own use internally either. So those are some key things around uh, around those capabilities as well. All right, so now that you know what Microsoft 365 is and what the differentiators are, what's in it for you, which is really the key to uh, any investment that you might want to make. It's not a an easy investment. It's not an easy change uh, in, in a lot of cases, but uh, but there is some key reasons to make those changes. And one of those is moving yourself from an environment of making capital expend expenditures and moving to operate operational expenditures. We, you know, we have customarily purchased our software, purchased our Windows, uh, our Windows software, our Windows devices, our Office 
uh, our office software or whatever productivity software that we want to use, we've purchased it and we've installed it on our devices. We've uh, I've mentioned it before. We've had our email and exchange servers. We've had our SharePoint on SharePoint servers. So we have capital expense. We have to build physical hardware. We have to have somewhere that we put that and then we have to depreciate and amortize that over uh, over years. And then there's a refresh cycle where it all has to start over again. And then when we do that, we not only have to invest in new hardware, we have to invest our time to uh, to make those updates, to change out that software, to migrate users over. It's it's a uh, it's costly and it's it's generally a hassle. When we move to cloud services such as Microsoft 365, we are now moving into an operational expense. Uh, we are uh, we are using uh, we are it's creating a business expense just like our electricity, our payroll, our rent, our internet connections, and it just gets expensed and gets utilized uh, on a monthly basis. It's predictable. There is again, there is no uh, no peaks and valleys. Uh, so to speak, there might be some dips here and there where you might have user uh, users increase and decrease. But again, it's predictable. You know what your overhead is. You know when you bring a user on, then it's going to cost X amount for uh, for the Microsoft 365 licensing. So it's much there's much more of a rolling feel to that rather than you having to have to invest in that physical hardware. And again. As I've said, key differentiator, you're always up to date. You don't have to deal with refresh cycles. And when we're talking, I've mentioned Microsoft 365 uh, business and business premium. The key thing around this and what you know what you get with that is you get the all of those Office 365 productivity tools. You get Microsoft, uh, you get Windows 10 Pro, uh, or if you want to use the Windows Virtual Desktop, you can do that as well. You get all of those security and device management features that come with Intune, with my, you get multi-factor authentication, self-service password reset, which is great for both security as well as productivity uh, because you don't need a, uh, a help desk to reset people's passwords. You get capabilities such as data loss prevention, conditional access policies that protect you, protect your users and devices from uh, from being uh, from from somebody uh, somebody taking and trying to uh, to log in under their identity. Uh, information protection to protect your sensitive data as well as hold on to your sensitive data. You can build uh, build policies in place that hold on to your particular records for like your tax records for seven years. Uh, and then email archiving for compliance as well. If you have some requirement requirements around how long emails need to be held on to for legal reasons, you can do that, have those capabilities as well. The Microsoft 365 Business Suite is designed for, uh, for organizations that are under 300 licenses. Uh, once you go over 300 licenses, you get into the enterprise, uh, the enterprise suite of products, which uh, which give you additional uh, additional features and capabilities as well. But you get again enterprise level features with with the Microsoft 365 Business Premium Suite uh, that that enterprises get with their e, the E3 and the E5 licenses as well. And this is again those enterprise licenses. There's two plans. There's E3 and E5. So if you're a large organization or you need some specific compliance and analytics type tools uh, that you might uh, want to move to the 365 enterprise suite. But as I said, if you're a small business, Microsoft 365 Business Premium will do probably 99% of what you need. And some key things again, just to kind of wrap it, wrap this all together, is key selling points around Microsoft 365: business productivity and collaboration tools, enterprise-grade device management and security capabilities, uh, simple device deployment and security capabilities. Everything is very easy to uh, to understand and to handle and to and to plan for and determine which direction you want to go, to, uh, which direction you want to go in in terms of how you're going to manage manage this on devices and secure those devices across not just not just laptops but all of your mobile devices as well whether it's ios android uh, mac uh, os's those all have capabilities and functionality where you can utilize microsoft 365 and its security capabilities 
And when you're going to uh, to purchase and think about how you're going to utilize, how you're going to obtain these licenses, uh, cloud, you know, cloud, you can obtain those through cloud solution providers such as uh, ourselves at Opsagility. Uh, we're Microsoft partners. Uh, we can be your local resource and we can sell those cloud solutions and technologies and support you on those as well. Uh, we are uh, a direct provider where we have our own capabilities for uh, for providing you with sales, billing, and support of all your Microsoft licensing needs. And then there's also if you're if you are working to migrate to um, to Microsoft 365, Microsoft has uh, has a number of different tool, different support channels and capabilities that we can uh, that as a cloud solution provider we can help to uh, to coordinate uh, as far uh, to support your migration. Fast Track is one that's been utilized for for many years to help uh, support customers and to build to help with those migration project plans as well as well as a number of forums and things like that. I will pause for a moment. Any other questions that you see, yeah, Haley? Yeah, we do. We have um, if so. If I subscribe, how do I keep track of all these items? I don't have enough time to manage all this and take care of my customers. That and that's a great question. That goes back to uh, to my slide where I was talking about cloud solution providers and what uh, what us uh, what we at Opsgility can provide you is as a cloud solution provider. And if you uh, purchase your licensing through a cloud solution provider. We can help you with the migration and we can help you with the support and the and the day to day management of your licensing as well. So uh, so we can you can just utilize the license. We'll provide you with the training needed uh, for your user environment, uh, for managing the change and for your, you know, to get your users comfortable with the new suite of products. If you have if they're not familiar with Microsoft products and Office products, we can help with that. We can help with the planning and building of what you re your requirements are for security as well and can help uh, help to uh, set up all of those policies and all of those security features that I've talked about here today. OK, great. So in summary, uh, hopefully uh, in the last 30 minutes, you've uh, gotten a good uh, feel for what Microsoft 365 is. Uh, what the key differentiating features are, and also what's in it for you and what, what Microsoft 365 can provide for you. I'll turn so, it back over to you, Haley. Thanks. So you may be wondering what, what do I do next? So reach out to us, contact us at sales at opsgility.com. We can set you up with a strategic account executives, and we can learn about your goals and help you build your cloud strategy. Additionally, we can help you create applications. We have our team here where we can, if you have the manpower to do it, we can teach them how to do it, or we can just get it set up for you so that you can run with the results. And then we're able to help with migration for productivity and collaboration to Microsoft 365, as well as workloads and data to Azure. And be sure to attend our next event taking place on October 1st. And our next webinar is um, listed at the blog below. Kit will be discussing getting started with Azure migration. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you everybody. I thank you for your time today and for uh, viewing and attending this webinar. Uh, appreciate all your time and hope to hear from you here in the future. Thank you very much.